What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. It is Sakel Flows here and today we're continuing our playthrough of Ruin King. So as usual, if you guys want to enjoy it, you know what to do. Consider leaving a like as well as hitting that big red button down below for more single player content just like this one. I really appreciate the support as well, but most importantly, you won't miss future uploads or episodes here on my channel. So thank you for doing so or if you've already done it. And with that being said, let's continue our playthrough. So um, here we are in the academy, if I'm not mistaken. We're still in the academy. We should be about halfway through at this point. Um, I think we just have to pass through this lecture hall and then find ourselves in the gardens overlook or something So yeah, I'm gonna work towards that. Let's go ahead and head down the lecture hall first I stopped the video here in the previous episode because I saw an enemy here the Miss Walker assassin um, I didn't want to face him yet because you know, we were uh, you know towards the end of our runtime, but now We're gonna face him Here we go Ooh, crit chance up. Very nice. Get a increased critical opener with Misfortune, which is good. But unfortunately, we don't get the start with Misfortune, which is a bit unfortunate. Let's do Taunt with Alawi. So that she draws damage. Do Tentacle Barrier as well, so that she's tanking damage. do a love tap and I think we'll focus uh, we'll have misfortune focus on the doom sailor because the doom sailor I think has impending doom which will deal extreme magic damage if I'm not mistaken um, just to double check yeah extreme magic damage so we'll have misfortune do a love tap to it oh does that hurt oh very nice 109 Double up should be able to, you know, chain up with that and we should be able to get some good damage on. Okay. So we'll have Pike do a serrated slice and focus on taking out the Miss Walker assassin. Ignite, bleed, and critical. Awesome. Allow we uh, will also try to help out Pike a bit, I think. Okay, let's do a double up. In the speed lane. Take out the new sailor. And potentially chain off uh, with the Miss Walker Seeker. There we go. Another oh, four health. Oh, <laughs> four health. Come on, come on. You cannot be serious, buddy. Um, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, let's do a. Let's do another serrated slice. Another stack of poison and bleed. Wonderful. I think we need Alawi to heal herself up. I think that's important. Let's have her do a... Normal Grace, I think. So that she could heal herself. This fortune will do... Two time. Ah, I was hoping one of it was gonna get critical. In fact, I was hoping both of it gets critical. That way we didn't need to we don't need to wait for the second turn. Still not enough, huh? I guess fine. Um this should do it. Still won't kill it. Nasty little sucker. <laughs> won't die. Okay, let's do a double up. Brom levels up. We can check that out some other time because he's not in our party. Um, let's just go ahead and move on. Alright, I see a... I see two enemies there, and I see a big fellow over here. I tell you what, um... We'll focus on taking him out first before we move on into these two. I want to go ahead and check out the fire, this thing. What does it give us? Fortune's Favor. I don't know what it does, but it looks like it's giving gold, I think, by the icon. Let's uh, kill him first. Because there's a chest here that I want to grab. There's a 
chest over there. We've got work to do. Whoa. This is a Damn, this is a scary composition. Um just give me a second, let me show you to you what I mean. Definitely speed increases haste by 10% and additional 20 per mark champion. Guillotine deals heavy damage, deals additional damage to champions under 50% health. Deals more damage to each al to each champion, only usable after an ally dies. Um I saw a death mark or something. There's no way to check what that does, but uh, I think we'll leave that. We have the exploding whiz here, which could be very, 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 very scary as well. Killing the whiz and dealing massive, uh, massive magic. Uh, killing the whiz uh, applies a stack of mist bomb to itself. At three stacks, mist bomb explodes, killing the whiz and dealing massive magic damage to each champion. Okay, this could be scary because it's gonna help buff up the executioner as well. So. I think what we'll do is we'll do a taunt with uh, Alawi so that we try to get her to take some damage. We'll try to focus on taking out... Um... The Miss Walker Executioner as well, but uh, okay, I tell you what, let's focus on the Whiz first. I think the Whiz would be more dangerous because it has massive magic damage. Um, right now, the Miss Walker Executioner can only target Alawi, so uh, we'll try to have her, he will try to heal her up along the way. But right now, let's do, I think, a Tentacle Smash. I want to try to get Misfortune to kill, um... Oh, damn, we don't have enough mana. Um, double up as it needs another 5 mana. Okay, it's fine. We'll do a Love Tap, and we'll focus on the Executioner. Because double up should have enough to kill the Whiz and the second guy, if I am correct. Let's do a Serrated Slice to him as well. We get Sunder and Bleed. I would have preferred if it was an Ignite or Poison. It's fine. Okay. 100 damage, 10 overcharge. Harsh lesson. 213. It's out of sight of the zone a bit. I tell you what we'll do. We'll do another we'll do another tentacle smash. We'll try to weaken uh, weaken him for Pike and Misfortune. I'll send you back to the depths. Okay, we should have enough for double up. Um damn it, we missed the goal. Or actually, we might not miss the goal. Yeah, we won't miss the goal. Okay, I get it. We'll do a speed double up. We'll have Pike um, do a regular attack to him. And we should be able to chain. Okay. Let's do... Serrated Slice. There we go. I warned you. Always ultimate does damage, right? 243. Um, healing the most wounded ally for 103, uh, 103 health plus, plus 103 health per tentacle consume. Most wounded ally. I think that's misfortune, right? Uh, I don't. Then in that case, it's not really too worth it. So I'm not gonna do an ultimate. We'll have her do a healing miss instead. We'll do a speed healing mist as well. I embrace motion. Let's have Pike. Do a let's have Pike do executioner. I think I'm able to chain this if we play this right. I think so. Watch your back. 
Okay, Miss Fortune will have her duel two time. If we could get two criticals, it should weaken it enough for Pike to get the 540 damage. Oh, not enough. Come on, we need him to be a bit lower. And Pike doesn't get the damage this time. Pike doesn't get the... Oh, actually, we have another turn of Miss Fortune in here. I didn't see that. That's going to work out to our advantage. Okay, okay, that's good. That is good. We'll do another two time. And there we go. Awesome. Awesome. We get the extra goal as well. That's what I want. Still here. Calling. Uh, 160 goal. I'm not sure if that's extra, but <laughs> we still... I think it should be extra. Because uh, plunder as well as fortune's favor. Very, very nice. So, 347 XP. No one levels up. Uh, Pike and Misfortune are close. Let's go ahead and check out this room first. We have a urn here. Three green essence and a chest. We get a Dogman's jacket, crack noble choker, um, some some gear. Okay, since we have time, let's go ahead and equip that for now. I think those are for misfortune. The Dogman's jacket looks like something misfortune would wear. Um, can we find it? All right, there we go. So we'll change that with this. This is going to increase her attack power a little bit. Uh, but it's going to increase physical, physical defense, magical defense, a little bit of stamina as well as health. So we're going to give that to her. Alright, I saw something called a Noble Choker. What does it increase? Magic defense, bonus damage, and stamina. It's going to decrease crit a bit on her, so I'm not going to go ahead and give her that. Um, for Pike, that's going to do the same thing, I think. Right? It's going to decrease attack power a little bit. Mm, but more health for him. Magic defense, bonus damage, and stamina. I think that should be given to Alawi. I think that's much better if we give that to Alawi. Um, not that. Brawler's Chain. We have to swap that out. Brawler's Chain grants bonus damage and haste, if I'm not mistaken. So... We give that to her. That's going to increase her defense a bit. Okay, we'll give the brawl, we'll give the Noble Choker to her. We might just take the... Um, what is it? The... Um, no, that's the wrong one. Hold on. Let me swap that back. Okay, we'll give um, Miss Fortune maybe the Brawler's Chain or something, right? Um, what did we have on her earlier? We have the... We had the Shark Tooth uh, Necklace on her. Let me just double check what it uh, gives, what it increases. Attack power, it decreases crit, but it increases haste. I want to try to keep the maximum crit on her, so... I think we might just give it the Pike instead. A little, a little bit of decrease to stamina and increase to attack power um, and increase the haste. Okay, we sacrifice a bit of health. I think I'm okay with that. I think I can live with that. So yeah, we'll do that. Okay, so he, he drops a bit in health, but his attack power is increased. I think that's okay. That should be fair. Um, I'm, the reason why I didn't want to give it to Misfortune is, like I said, I want to keep the crit on her. The, you know, the maximum crit. The increased crit, at least, not maximum. Careful, this thing's loaded. The usual, allow we to taunt. She will take damage. And tentacle barrier to mitigate damage. Let's do a love tap to the exploding wisp. Easy target. Pike will do serrated slice to the I thought this was a battle. Assassin. Sunder and bleed not too good. Was hoping it was a poison like knight. Um double up speed. Or actually, since it's going to cast after, so there's really no point in, um, you know, trying to conserve it. Let's just go ahead and do a balance then. Lining it up. 
Gonna go smash to this fellow. Again, accelerated slice. Two stacks of bleed, very nice. Is that all you have? Awesome. Who's next? Yeah, let's do tentacle smash again. Oh, we get a poison on it too. Wonderful. Pike's ultimate, 557. We want to end it here. Um, yeah, you know what? We might as well just end it here. Why not? I think after this next battle, we should be leveling up. Okay, let's go ahead and take on this guy and level up our champions. You know who I am. Again, Sarah, I don't think Ghosts of Shadow House will know who you are. Tap to this fellow. Ooh. 18 health. I think we'll let Pike do the honors. Oh, come on. You give it critical? <laughs> come on. Probably should have given criticals. You know, when we... Had, you, you could have given us critical when we attack something else. But uh, it's okay. It's okay. We're okay. Um... 93 damage to her. We get into the heal zone, which is good. Let's do... Left up to him. Hit. Might chain another double up, and I think we should be able to win. Miss Bomb stack too. I take note of that. Let's do a serrated slice to it. Okay, this is just nice. All right, I was I, I was hoping Alawi doesn't kill it. <laughs> okay, tentacle smash. And Misfortune should be able to double up and kill both. Lane, double up, speed, and... Oof. It's gonna do another... What, right? It's gonna do another... Miss Bomb, I think. Explodes at three stacks. How many stacks of Miss Bomb does it have now? Two. Oh my god. Um... Okay, we have no choice here. We have to do it two time instead. Uh, we give up the double kill. Uh, play this a bit sloppily, but I think it's fine. Ha, well done. Play this a bit sloppily, um, but it's okay. We still win. Is that all? Hopefully our champions still level up, so you know we get to level we get to level up then up before we end this episode. Oh my god, Sarah doesn't level up. Uh, <laughs> Pike does, however. Okay, uh, it's okay, it's fine. We get another upgrade point and a gift of the drowned one. I was hoping we get a rune point there, but we do not. It's fine. 
Let's go ahead and loot this place first before we end things. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the abilities. We have upgrade points to Brom, Yasuo, and Pike. Uh, yeah, Yasuo and Brom leveled up in the previous episode. We did not check that out because they're not in our team. Let's go ahead and upgrade Pike first. So, uh, we have, I think, one point. I think we're going to give it to something that we use often. Um, maybe the Ghost Water Dive could be good, right? An upgrade to the Ghost Water Dive. Increases crit chance by 15% for one turn. Pike's next attack has 40% heal. That is if we cast Ghost Water Dive. Is there anything that grants us overcharge? If the target is poisoned or ignited, grants 8 overcharge to Pike. Um, guaranteed crit to a bleeding target, the Bone Skewer. The target is Sundered or Magic Sundered, deals an additional 67 damage. Has a 30% chance to grant Executioner on a crit. Deals an additional 33 damage if the target is debuffed. What about Mark Target? Does it give us anything? Pike deals an additional 8 damage per hit for the rest of the battle to targets to have that have been marked. Reduces mana cost by 33%. And Mark Enemy Dies, restores 150 health and 10 mana to Pike, increases Sunder and Magic Sunder by an additional 5% each. Um, ambush, does it give anything that reduce, that increases the cast time? Unfortunately not. Uh, increases crit chance, generates 10 overcharge, if stealth applies a bleed or poison. When cast in speed of power lane, deals an additional 60 damage. Um... Like I tell you what, we're gonna upgrade the mark target because you know I would you know the I think this could be good. It uses mana cost by 33%. Because if we could get the mark, if we could get an early execution of stealth, we could of course cast plunder and ambush and we get the uh you know the boosted damage. So I would rather have a guaranteed uh, you know chance of getting a boosted damage. Um well not guaranteed chance, but a Increased chance of getting a boosted damage, then increasing the damage itself, and you know missing out on the chance of getting the boosted damage. Hopefully that sentence made sense to you guys. Um, no, actually hold on, we should probably check out his passive as well before we do anything. Restores 100% 100 health to Pike when he lands a killing blow. Increases the chance to grant it uh, on a crit. Increases the chance on a crit to grant Executioner by 5%. Uh, actually, this could be very good as well. Um, but you know, I think what I like to do just for survival ability. Pike is actually ending battles, so I don't think the Gift of the Drowned one with the Restore Hundred Percent could be the Restore Hundred Health could be good on him. Um, I think we'll give him this. We'll give him the increased chance to grant Executioner on a crit, because if he does get Executioner, we could potentially chain up with an Ambush or Plunder, and that would be better. Okay, I think that's good. Uh, since we're here, we might as well check out Yasuo or Brom. Do we have enough time for that, though? Um, 23 minutes in. Okay, I'll tell you what. I'll do Yasuo and Brom off camera because, you know, I don't think the... I You know, I think you get the gist. I'm just going to upgrade their um, abilities and stuff, and then we'll see how it goes from there. So, yeah, we're going to end the video here because we are running out of time. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this episode of Ruin King. And if you did, consider leaving a like as well as hitting that big red sub button down below. I really appreciate the support. But most importantly, you won't miss future episodes or um, content just like this one. Single-player content mostly. But, yeah, you won't miss any of that. So, with that being said, this is Kevlo signing off. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully, I catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye.